the first I was aware of it when I was uh, when I was on staff at CBS in uh, the late '40s, and uh, I was told by the contractor of musicians that they were CBS was going to start an hour uh, experimental TV, 15-minute show, which either they wanted me to do, and uh, and they assigned me to do it as a leader of a trio. So they got the bass player. Sid Weiss and Bill Clifton, the piano player, who were both on staff, and myself, and I was a trio, to do this show called Face the Music with the singer Johnny Desmond and a girl singer named Shea Kogan. And uh, I think the first director of that show was Ralph Levy, who eventually was the director of the Jack Benny show on television. And the original script writer, script, you know, as you can call that, the script, uh, the little byplay between songs, was Bob Merrill, who who who, who became the uh, the uh, writer of Funny Girl, the writer of such songs as People, you know, the, the Barbara Streisand big record. Bob Merrill was a script writer. I think I think those days I think probably was getting seventy five dollars a week to write five scripts. I think. <laughs> It was a 15-minute show. We, we did have an opening with Johnny singing uh, an opening song, and then he would introduce uh, 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 Shay or uh, the other girl that replaced her after a while. And then they would have a little byplay between the two of them, and she would sing a song. And then they would go, like I told you about the script, one thing that stays in my mind is <clears throat> uh, he would, Johnny would come over to me and talk to me and say, uh, Something, talk, he's talking about the old movies. Did you remember the old movies, John, when he used to have uh, the, the good guy, the bad guy, and the girl? You know, he said, oh, yeah, he said, I remember those days. And then it would be a slow fade out, and then they would come up again, and the girl singer would be, and this is always just one set. She would walk off to the side, and there would be like a, uh, a wooden horse or something. She's supposed to be on a farm. And oh, me, she's, she's uh, all upset because... Uh, this Simon O'Glee type character is coming there to collect the mortgage on her house which she can't afford. And Johnny becomes hair breath Desmo. He's going to save the girl. He's going to find some way to get this money. And then walks Simon O'Glee. That's me. Now they've already put a black mustache on with a black cape. I put my guitar on the side. I come in. Ha ha. And I do the whole Jerry Colonna shtick with my eyes and the mustache, you know. If she doesn't have the payment, she's going to be mine, you know. I think that. So Johnny finds out that there's gold buried in them dark hills, you know? And they do another song. Then he goes out and you see him digging, and he finds this pot of gold that's been buried by somebody. <laughs> it's just too, too funny, you know? And then, I remember, I remember this show vividly, too, because this is, this is before Milton Berle, or all of those. Then, after he finds the money and she is saved, he flings the money at the uh, at the Simon Greek character, me, and he says, be gone, you like that. And he, out of nowhere, he comes up with a seltzer bottle, and he squirts me, he says, it's raining on you, my friend. And he squirts me with a seltzer bottle, and then I, in turn, reach over here, which somebody hands me a lemon meringue pie, and I throw it in his face. Now that's, like I say, way before <laughs> Uncle Milty did it. But interesting enough, if you want to know about early television, see the way that th this show that I did, was the last 15 minutes of the hour that I spoke about earlier, from 7.45 to 8. Actually, 7 to 7.15 was the first newscast on television, and Doug Edwards, Douglas Edwards was the, the anchor. And 7.15 and 7.30, I believe, was a cooking show with Diona Lucas. And at 7.30 to 7.45 was some kind of a kitty, a kitty puppet show. And then at 7.45 to 8 was this Face the Music show. But in the afternoon, we would have a rehearsal. There was a three, three camera crew, but these sets were set like in a, uh, uh, a Lazy Susan. One set here, one set here, one here, and one here. And the crew would start here with the three cameras and do the 7 o'clock show with the news. And at 7.15, they would come over. There was no such thing as sets. It was one set per show. You know, and then they would do this show at 7.15, 7.30 come around to this show, and then at 7.45. So it was just a rehearsal in the afternoon, camera run-throughs, and then we'd come down at 7 o'clock at night, everybody would be in position in their different sets, and then we'd do the hour.